Hi, this is Leanna from Period 5, and here we have a graph showing the net force in the x-direction acting on a cart as a function of time. What does that mean? Um, basically, the y-axis is our net force, and our x-axis is time, and it's just showing the how the net force changes over time for, um, for a cart. And we're supposed to rank the acceleration of the cart at the labeled times. Okay, so we learned before that the acceleration and the net force, although they might not have different, although they, they probably don't have the same values, they're going to have the same shape, like on a graph. So we can just say that this net force graph, this graph showing net force, is going to look pretty similar to the graph of the acceleration of the cart. Um, so that being said, we just look at the, the most positive value, which is C. And then B and D, they have the same distance away from zero. So they're going to be equal in acceleration. And then we have F, and finally E and A, which are also going to be equal, but they're going to have they're going to have the greatest negative acceleration, contrasted with C with the greatest positive. Okay, I hope I explained that all. Um. Well, yeah. Okay. I realize you don't even have to look at the slope of the graph. That has nothing to do with it. I mean, we're not trying to find the, like, <laughs> we're not trying to find jerk or anything. So, um, yeah, we're just looking at, like, imagine that this was an acceleration graph. We're just trying to rank it from positive to negative. And that depends on where the points are in relation to the x-axis x, -x, x -axis line. Okay, thanks for watching.